I really cherish my nights. Uh, nights is when I get to spend my time with my wife, of course. Um, and, and raising a three-year-old, we don't get too much, you know, quiet time with each other. And uh, she works a full-time job, and, and I'm always at the gym and at the house. I spend my time taking care of this guy. So I really, so I really enjoy evenings, um, having with my wife, and we cuddle up, watch a movie, talk about our days. And here we are, this is the nightly routine at Tommy's house. As a husband and a, um, and a father, he is just incredibly dedicated to his family. He puts every ounce of himself into being a father. Um, it's like he was meant to be. Being a father has changed everything about me. Um, like, I'm a completely different person um, than I was, <laughs> you know, four years ago. Um, and especially as a coach, it's helped me be a lot more empathetic, but it's also helped me know how and when to, to push and, and drive um, my fighters. And when they need a shoulder and, and when they need a swift kick in the butt. And yeah, just as a person, the way I look at life, the way I approach life um, as, as a person has changed completely. Yeah, we fight every day, huh? We practice our jujitsu. He practices with his, all of his friends and stuff. Haven't officially started training yet. He doesn't quite have the have the uh, attention span of it. But he uh, he's been coming to the gym since he's 10 weeks old. Um, mom went back to work after maternity leave, and and I started bringing him to the gym. So just through being there and watching me teach class every day and watching me run the students through practices, he's picked up quite a bit. You know, he's just kind of absorbed it all. Yeah, so we started out as, you know, a high school crush um, that was too shy, too introverted to kind of talk to her. Um, you know, we'd pass by each other and think each other are cute and stuff. But... We just kind of looked at each other from afar in high school, and then um, I didn't, we didn't get together until he was in the service, and we actually became a couple when he was on his first tour in Iraq, so. Then we came home and hung out and, you know, actually started dating and dated for about about a year. Um, Asked me to go on a picnic with him and uh, took me to the train depot and um, I knew before, before we went to the train depot, I remember working that day, I knew he was going to propose. I just knew. I got married and then I, I ended up getting stationed in Alaska so I keep telling her I took her to Alaska for three years for our honeymoon. <laughs> um, she doesn't quite agree with that, but uh. As mentioned, we have a breaking news story to tell you about. Apparently, a plane has just crashed into the World Trade Center here in New York City. It happened. Um, just I was a senior in high school. Um, I was in health class, um, and I was actually um, we were with a a girl who had just moved there from New York, and she was sitting next to me and flipped on the TV, and her dad worked in the World Trade Centers, um, you know, and so it hits you a little bit like, holy crap, that's happening. Um, and then you're sitting next to somebody whose father's in that building and it's, <clears throat> you know, it's even, even that much more um, hits home. Um, yeah, I was shocked. I was, uh, you know, I don't even know what I did the whole rest of the day in school. I don't know if they let us out or we continued on. Um, I can't even tell you. It's just uh, kind of, kind of blur the whole rest of the day. Um, did her father make it out of the building? Yes, he did. Yeah. Man, uh, the military brings up a lot of emotions. Um, uh, some negative, some positive, um, and some I don't know how to feel about. Probably the, some of the worst times that I've ever been through, just having your loved one overseas and not knowing what they're doing, not knowing um, how they're doing, not being able to really speak very often, um, and then days would go by and you're just hoping that they're okay. Definitely being deployed and being a veteran um, was hard. Um, it's even harder when you get out and you have to adjust back. Um, I've gone through some tough times um, and some good times. So I would say it's been a, quite a roller coaster, but um, really 
been a testament to how much we love each other because if we can go through all of that, especially the you know year-long deployments and duty stations where we didn't know anybody, um, it's really just brought us closer together. Let's welcome Scott Ticklevi Thomas. Um, you know, to be perfectly honest, um, I love that I'm fighting for the veterans and they're going to be there um, in force. I hope. Um, but I, I'm really looking forward to the fight um, on that day so that I can help keep my mind off of it, to be honest. Um, it doesn't make it easy, seeing him in the cage, knowing that, you know, somebody could get in a good shot and knock him out or injure him. Um, it's really hard <laughs> and stressful and makes me really anxious and I just about have an anxiety attack, but when it's all said and done, um, you know, it's, it usually turns out all right. I'm looking forward to <clears throat> like Josh Wick and Darnell um, Stevens and Raftery fighting more than I'm looking forward to my own fight, to be honest. Um, I'm excited for those guys. I like, can't wait for them to go out there and show the world what they can do. Um, it's, it's definitely been a long journey and, you know, through the military and the wrestling and, and now um, I just want him to be happy and I want him to follow his dreams and I'm really hoping that someday he gets to where he wants to be. That's all I care about, is that he's happy. I, I much more find myself the coach and the Brazilian Jiu-Jitsu instructor. Um, so, you know, I'll just run the fight game till my body runs out, you know, um, see the world, get some opportunities, um, see, where, see where it goes.